welcome back to RC Icons. Yep. It's another one. <laughs> See you in a second. Alright, let's do this. So this is one, it's got a kit in it that I probably shouldn't have bought, but I got caught up. It's a big kit too. Yeah, I got caught up. Uh, what else is in here? I don't remember. I remember the kit, but... I always end up buying parts and everything else. I guess it would be fine if it was just parts, but the kits... Man, I've got too much to do already. I love the bubble wrap. Oh, I remember what's in here now. So some of this stuff is for Trey over at All RC Fun. I've got I've got his hat on right now. And then some of it's for me. This one's for me. TRF tool. I was missing. I know that I got an, a large screwdriver. Is this the one I already have? Might be the one I already have. Um, I I had gotten two Philip head TRF screwdrivers in one of my boxes, and then I had gotten another set of four, which I had actually I'm giving those to Glenn. But for some reason, I thought I was missing this one, and I'm not. <laughs> so whatever, it is what it is. I bought I bought another screwdriver. I don't need. So, it's all good. That's what happens when you mess up. Um, maybe I'll send that one to Jason. So, this is for Trey. Trey, recently, if you're watching any of our all, Trey's videos, All RC Fun, him and Meredith I have gotten into mini Zs. So, he had messaged me and put me on the hunt for two body sets. One for Meredith and one for his local hobby shop owner. And I don't think both of them are in here. I think only one of them is in here. No, they're both in here. They're both in here. So he was looking for Meredith for the red R1. I mean, R8. I'm sorry. Oh, geez. Throwing it. The red R8. So Trey... There's Meredith's Red R8, and it comes with wheels. I believe it's just a body set. It's... I wonder if it's the whole car. It can't be the whole car. Can it? Sorry, Trey, but I'm going to open this. No, it's just a body set. It just has like a little chassis to hold it in place. So that one's Meredith's. And then it gives you directions on how to change it over. It comes with wheels, tires, and the body. This is a huge market. Absolutely huge. I never I never realized how big of a market the Mini Z's were. I knew it was a big market, but I didn't realize how big. So that's one of Trey's bodies. And then this is the other one. You'll probably see these on his channel, although I know this one is a gift for somebody else. So you may not see this one. And it's the Mercedes uh, AMG GT3. Very cool. So your body's made it here safe, Trey. That's always a good thing. Uh, you guys... Probably a month or so ago, saw me unbox a couple of sp special Hornets. And I was talking about how hard it is to find the black wheels. And how they only came in the Hornet Supreme kit and in the June Watanabe kit. Well, Bai as well. <laughs> so I saw these come up on Bai and I, uh, I went for them and I won them. So... The black buggy style beadlock wheels for a Hornet, Grasshopper, anything that runs that style wheel. Super, 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 super rare. 
Um, you can always paint the white ones black, but they're going to chip, and they're going to chip quick. You can dye them, but again, it's not the same as having an original black set. So yeah, I was very excited. And then for some reason, I went on this tangent one day of um, GT1. So Tantec gear. I have, I have my GT1, the black Porsche 934. Um, still has the polycarbonate body. I need to do the hard body for that car. And I already showed, I think it was uh, the front and rear shock tower. Although the front shocks are inboard, so it's not really a tower. Although it might be, and it just lays flat. Um, but I have the front and rear aluminum pop-up shock tower already. That I had bought in, whatever, month, two months ago. Well... All of a sudden, this lot came up on on Baye, and I went after all of it. That's actually for a TA05 version 2, which I have a pile of parts for. I should probably have just bought in a TA05 version 2R instead of doing it the way that I did it, but I do at some point have a... 052 car to build that's going to be completely hopped up with like every hop up you can get and I didn't realize 3 Racing did a pile of hop ups for the GT1 because that's what all these parts are the shock towers I have are, are uh, original Tamiya stuff but all of these This is Tamiya. Oh, these are 501 Eccentrics. So these are 501 Eccentrics. So Mr. Zeta, who's a subscriber, I just sent him a set. These are extremely rare and extremely expensive for what they are. 100 bucks all day long for those three little blue pieces of bling. I just sent the full set to Mr. Zeta with a DB01 slipper clutch because he could not find either. Uh, and I was just trying to be a nice guy, so I sent them to him um, free of charge. TA02 version 2 rear bulkhead, lightweight rear bulkhead. And then GT01, so this is a front shock tower, 3 racing. It's different from the one that I have, so the other one I have might be something different, something else. For the GTO one in the front, I'm not sure. But this is carbon and aluminum. And then we've got front knuckles and turnbuckle set. And there might actually be more more coming. I'm not sure. I can't remember. So this is something that I split with Jason. I can't remember if I'm getting, these are both fronts. These are extremely hard to find too. So these are rears, and they both rears, rear, front. So this is a full set of the high density hop up wheels for like DB01s. They're uh, the small and they're the, the pin spike. Um, I believe he got me a set of front tires, but these are the ones that come all pre-glued and everything, and it's a full set front and rear. So I believe one of these, I think they're maybe the fronts are mine and the rears are his, I don't remember, but it's a full set. And I'm going to keep my eye out for more of those because they're you can't find those anymore. And if you run them, you're going to wish you didn't. Uh, I actually got them for cheap 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 they were like 10 bucks uh nobody bit i don't think if i remember right i know it was cheap so a while back i was on buy -E and there was a buy -E bundle it was three kits and one of the kits it was uh a mazda 3 and then it was two other kits 
and may have been a rising fighter i think is that right dt03 and part of that was a mazda 3 on the tt02 and that came with a red chassis and i almost bought the bundle it was 179 dollars and you got three kits you got a rising fighter the mazda 3 and then there was something else i don't remember what it was and i almost bought the whole bundle but i didn't because i'm like like it's three more kits that I really don't need. But in the process, I fell in love with this Mazda 3 body. Uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> I have no clue. So this is a 2019 body set. And it looks awesome in the, the uh, box art red. It's like a, I don't know if it's going to show me what color. What color is it? Metallic red, right? So it's the same color as the uh, Dynas, Dyna Blaster. And the same color I did my my astute uh, TD2, but I backed that with black, so it's almost like a dark, dark metallic red. Um, I'm painting this one red, and I'll I'll put it on some chassis. I'm not sure which one, but I fell in love with that body when I was looking at those kits. And then this is the kit that I shouldn't have bought. So I saw this come up, and. It was literally, it only had maybe 20 minutes left, so I really didn't think about it a whole lot. I went on eBay to see what they were selling for, because I know they're not offered anymore. It's a discontinued kit. And the only one on eBay was priced at 950 bucks. So... I ended up winning it. I went, I think, 400 which is probably reasonable for what it is. European semi. Holy crap, this thing's heavy. Oh, it's upside down. No, there's nothing else in there. I'll ditch this box. So it's the man, TGX. So you're looking at that saying, well, what's so special about that? Well, it's the complete kit. There's an MFC in here. There's a radio, a Futaba attack radio in here. Um, so this is a complete kit. It's not just the truck. And I don't think they make it anymore, to be completely honest, because I only saw one for sale. So I ended up buying it. Uh, I don't have any European trucks in the collection. I've got the Volvo tow truck. Um, but I don't have any of the European semi trucks. And I do have a couple. I've got my Lesu Mercedes uh, Actros that needs to be finished. The chassis is done. When you buy it from Lesu, it's built. But i got to do the whole body set for that truck. But you can see this one comes with the whole MFC-01 in the box. Um, that right there is almost 300 by itself. So when you lift it up right here, you've got two servos, speaker, MFC, the whole control unit. So this is cool in the sense that it literally comes with the whole MFC in the kit and then it also comes with it's got the two servos in there it comes with the whole Futaba radio system and it's actually a really nice radio for what it is um still crystal so 27 meg uh that's cool as shit and then it comes with the battery charger the receiver the whole nine yards comes with extension cables that you need 
even comes with the crystal tag. <laughs> so how cool is that? Like, that is just... I mean, that kind of stuff just blows me away. So yeah, I ended up, I ended up winning this. Uh, it was just over 400 with the fees. But after I bought it, I was like, oh, I don't know that I really should have done that. Um, but whatever. It's now that it's here, I love it. It's cool. Um, Cause you don't usually have any of that stuff in the box. So at some point, so the man to me, it's cool. Like I like it, um, but it's very kind of plain Jane. Um, I like the Mercedes Actros cause it's got the roof lights, the, the, the grill and everything is real kind of aggressive looking. I love the Scania as well. Um, I love the Scania with the big Scania decal on the side. I like the fact that this has the longer window. Um, so yeah, it, it wouldn't be my first choice in a Euro truck, but because it was the complete kit, it did it for me. Uh, so yeah, that's, I don't know, I don't, maybe six I still have to build. Chrome Night Hauler, Chrome Aero Max, Chrome King Hauler. I've got a Grand Hauler to match up with that one. So we'll build a King Hauler, King Hauler and a Chrome Grand Hauler because we're going to flip-flop those body sets. And then I still have a globe liner um, that from Taiwan Kenny last year. And then now I've got this one. So that's six. Six that need to be built. And then I have three already. I've got a globe liner that's done. My custom Aero Max. It's a triple axle. And I have the tow truck. So, and, I, and the Lesu, right? So that's ten semi trucks that I have now. Um, that Just saying that just blows my mind. So that's it for this one. I'm going to get this mess cleaned up. One more look at Trey's killer bodies here. Not that they're from killer body, but absolutely awesome. And then the presentation of these things is just cool as hell. They come in like a plastic clear case. Um, absolutely awesome. Black buggy wheels and some of the hardest wheels and tires to find. So yeah. I'll probably just send him both of these so that he's got the complete set for his car. And then I'll take whichever. We we just bought a couple pair on eBay or somewhere. One set for me, one set for him. So I'll just take those two sets. I think I'll end up with two sets of fronts and no rears. And he'll end up with one full set. And then I'll hunt down the rears at some point. But that's it. I'm going to move this for closing. And we'll wrap this one up. So that's going to do it for this episode of RC Icons. I hope you guys liked the unboxing. Um, Trey, enjoy your Mini Z bodies. Jason, enjoy your wheels and tires. Uh, I just looked at the GTO one stuff I had, and I had the upper arm mount, front upper arm mount. So I don't have doubles. So I'll have the upper arm mount, and then I'll have the front shock tower in blue and carbon. Uh, so that is cool shit. And then I have the rear shock tower in aluminum, the rear uh, or the front uh, uh, turning knuckles. The the one I missed, I missed one auction item out of that whole lot, and it was the uh, three racing aluminum steering for the GTO one. And I absolutely want to get that. So at some point, I got to hunt that down. I got to keep my eyes open. And that's going to turn that chassis into something special. And then that's got those friction shocks on there. And I know they did the, the uh, Tam Tech Gear Oil upgrade shocks. So I, I'd like to get those on there as well. Don't ask me why we hop up cars that just go on the shelf. I don't know. But it's a sickness, right? Just like the rest of it. <laughs> is what it is. I definitely didn't need a 10th truck. But I can't help it. It's a complete kit, and it's like when you see that stuff for half what it usually sells for, I, that's enough justification for me right there. So if you're not already a subscriber, I'd encourage you to consider subscribing to support the channel. We're coming up on the cusp of 4,000 here. I don't know if it'll happen before the end of the year. Uh, it may, if I do some Christmas giveaways, that might bump us up, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I, I really... I'm not concerned about the numbers. So, uh, but if you'd like to support the channel, hit that button. Hit the all notifications button. Leave a comment. What's your favorite semi-truck? 
Is it the Grand Hauler? I know that's the most popular one Tamiya sells, but a lot of the Euro guys like the Euro trucks. Um, I'd say probably out of the Euro trucks, the Mercedes Actros is my number one, the Scania would be number two, and then the Man would be number three. And then as far as the American trucks, um, Aeromax is definitely my number one. And then absolutely the Grand Hauler, King Hauler, Night Hauler. I don't know where the Globe Liner sits in there, but I can tell you this. I have an original Globe Liner that's built, and I have another kit. And that's the only one short of the Aeromax because I bought the Chrome one that I have the same kit twice. And an original Globe Liner done in the original color with the original decals, all box art. I've got it on display in my living room. It's that cool looking. But it absolutely has to have one thing on it. The aerial spring that goes on the roof of the globe liner, it absolutely has to be on there for display. <laughs> Such a cool truck. Um, it's the only vehicle I have on display in the living room. My Aeromax triple axle, you guys saw it on the heavier, heavier side of RC icons. That's actually on display in my kitchen and it's in a china cabinet with all it's a glass cabinet that's lit and my wife has all her fine china and stuff in there decorative dishes and then right in the middle is a triple axle aeromax <laughs> when i say she's a saint i mean it she is a saint so thumbs up thumbs down comment until next time we'll see you soon thanks